That's correct. correct. Yep. Cool. Correct. Okay, hold on. Okay, James, we do have a quorum, so uh, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and start recording and we'll get started. Understood. HRRB members, you are live in three, two, one. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday, July 21st. It is approximately 3.05 p.m. This is the regularly scheduled Hillsborough County Historic Resources Review Board meeting. My name is Nico Homan. I'm the chairman of the board. Uh, today, we will get started with our agenda. Um, first, we'll have a quick um, call to order and a quorum check. Uh, Nancy, do we have a quorum present for our meeting today? We do, Mr. Chair. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, moving right along to our regular agenda items, um, if the members of the board would please review the meeting minutes from our June 16th meeting. Um, and at this time, if there are any changes or corrections uh, to the presented minutes, please present them now. All right. If no changes. Um, uh, do we hear a motion to approve the meeting minutes as presented? I move to pass the meeting agenda as a, the minutes as a written. Sorry. We have a second. We have a motion to approve and a second. Um, any discussion? Okay. Hearing none. All those in favor of approving the minutes as presented? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. All right. Minutes are approved as presented. Um, James or Bill, do we have anyone wishing to make a public comment or do we have any guest speakers at this moment? No, sir, there were no uh, public citizens that signed up for public comment for today's meeting. Okay. So, so with that, we'll be moving right along into our staff items. Uh, uh, item number C1, uh, Tom, if you could uh, review the letter regarding uh, 2934 Stearns Road. Mr. Homan. Yes, go ahead. This is Mary Lou. I'm the Hi, Lou. secretary. Yep. Um, I need for you to call out who's making the motions because I can't see them. Okay. I, I got Becky for the, she made the motion, but who seconded the motion? Uh, that was, that was me. Yep. I feel. Who's me? <laughs> Brian Trutchfield. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mary Lou. I'll be sure to add that uh, as we go on. Um, okay, back to you, Tom, regarding item C1. Okay. Um, yeah, this item is uh, for your informational purposes only. It is the, uh, by the way, can you hear me? I, uh, for some reason, my controls seem to have disappeared from the screen about for my mic and my, uh, all right, but you can hear me? Right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, Anyway, it is uh, for informational purposes only. It's the letter uh, that was sent out following your last meeting uh, where you reviewed uh, the construction of a new shed on a property that was on the inventory and, and to, you found that it would have no effect upon the historic resource, which is an old house. Sounds good. Uh, any questions on item C1? All right, hearing none, we'll move on to item number C2, the letter at 11515 East Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard. All right, correct. Just like the previous letter, this is for your information purposes only. It's a letter that you issued uh, after your last meeting where you made a determination regarding the proposed demolition of a house that's on the historic resources inventory. Uh, this house and the, and the one in the previous case are both not designated landmarks. Uh, uh, so anyway, in this case, you found that the, the demolition of the house would pose no adverse impact uh, to the historic research due to the advanced structural deterioration. Uh, it also was found not to be historically significant. Uh, and uh, but with a recommendation that the historic materials from the house be salvaged to the greatest extent possible. Sounds good. Thank you, Tom. Any questions or comments for Tom regarding that item? Okay. Here and none, moving along um, to agenda item D number one, uh, the Costa Chandra House, um, and item D number one and, and D two um, kind of go hand in hand uh, regarding the window replacement as well as the historic preservation grant. Uh, this is a uh, designated landmark, and so the board has the authority to approve or deny the re requested changes to the property. 
Um, so with that, Tom, go ahead and give us a brief overview and then we'll pass it over to the owners uh, for their review. All right, thank you. Uh, yes, um, let me state and you'll see that this uh, meeting was properly noticed. The notice sign is in your backup materials. One of the few items, it's not the only one that actually needs to be noticed by a sign and that was done in a timely fashion. Uh, the request is to replace nine windows in the house. Um, as you go through the, uh, uh, the materials I submitted, you'll see photos of the house. They uh, have circled also which windows will be replaced. Um, uh, the windows that to be replaced, uh, and the applicant will also be touching on this, but uh, this house is actually our most recent landmark designation. Uh, one of the windows that are in the house today are the original window, wooden windows. Uh, they've been replaced at least once, if not twice. Uh, and uh, the windows that to replace are actually aluminum windows, uh, but the windows will be of the same style uh, and will match all the other windows in the house, which are of the exact same manufacturer. Um, I think it's a pretty straightforward application, but if you have any questions for me, or if you would prefer, I, we can introduce the property owner, Beth Chandra. Uh, it's yeah. your pleasure. We'll, we'll go ahead with that. Um, so um, if the property owner, uh, at this time, we'd like to make a comment regarding the uh, window replacement. Uh, Beth, she was online. She's there, she's got to turn her mute off. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? Gotcha. We can. Thank you, Beth. Oh, thank you. Um, right. My husband is at work. He couldn't be here for the meeting, but I appreciate you all taking the time to consider this. I did want to ask you if you would think about granting me the grant so we could replace the last nine yeah. windows. Hi, right, Beth. Right now, we're uh, the first uh, first item of business is just simply replacing the windows. The next item of business will be your grant. Oh, right. okay. Then I'd like to ask permission to replace the last nine of the 65 windows that we've been replacing through the years. Um, these are the last nine that have not been replaced by my husband and I, and they all match exactly the same as the previous windows that we've been replacing through the years. They're all made by Window World. They're all the double hung, gas filled, six pane windows. It actually will look like if you look closely, you may notice the old, the, the last nine of the windows my dad had placed, but it's not easy to tell. But now anyone who looks will know that all the windows in the whole house will be just the same if we can replace these last nine. And, and, and the information you submitted, Beth, you had mentioned that none of these nine windows are operable anymore. Is that correct? They will not open and close. When we try and open and close them, little plastic things have flown off, so we can't open or close them. So they're not functioning. I mean, they closed and locked, they're fine, but we cannot open or close the windows at all. So we would like to have functioning windows in the house, and that's why we're asking if we could replace these last nine. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and board members, uh, in your packet, you have, have the information regarding the windows. You also have information regarding um, the Secretary of Interior's standards for rehabilitation, uh, specifically for windows. Um, so if you have any questions that you haven't already reviewed, um, that manual is certainly useful in making the determination. Um, again, because this property is on the um, historic designation uh, landmark list, um, this board does have the authority to approve or deny this request for the window replacement. Um, and so that's what uh, we will be looking for from the members of the board, um, a motion to either approve or deny this window replacement. So with that, any more questions or comments for, for Tom or for the homeowner? Mr. Chairman, this, this Go ahead, Nelson. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, the other pre the other windows did they require board approval as well? Is this just the final and a set of approvals, or uh, is the designation of landmark status after the other windows had been replaced? The designation was after the landmark status. Okay, thank uh, you. We had put all those windows in before, and we just I think it was maybe a year or two ago that we were granted the landmark status. It was 
took a little while to do, but prior to this, we had been replacing the windows little by little as we could afford to replace them. And so no other windows after these nine will need replaced at all. And all the others had been replaced before we had the landmark status. Thank you for that clarification. I appreciate it. You're welcome. This is Becky. Um, having been on the board for a period of time, there's been uh, several places similar to this that we have approved this kind of window replacement because especially with the hurricane issues in Florida, trying to replace them exactly like they were with old wood and, and that just doesn't work. So I would recommend that we uh, approve, you know, move forward with approving the nine window replacements at the Chandra house. It sounded like a motion, so I'll second it. Okay, uh, Becky, can you provide some, some rationale for that motion? Well, I think I sort of did right at the beginning when I talked about that this is very similar to, to others we have approved with the same kind of situation. And being in Florida with the termites, with the wood issue and the hurricanes, it, and I, I happen to have a house that we had to replace 48 windows in. So um, I, I know the struggles you go to with wood windows and trying to replace them in old houses. Okay, uh, sounds good. Uh, so we have a motion on the floor from Becky uh, uh, to approve the request as presented. Uh, we have a second from Curtis. Um, any other discussion on the motion as presented? Okay, hearing no. You know, no discussion. Uh, we'll move forward with the vote. So all those in favor of approving the motion as presented, say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. Okay. The ayes have it. Um, <coughs> Mary Lou, is that good for your records? Were you able to get that information? That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Okay, so moving on to our next item um, relating to these windows is, is regarding the uh, preservation grant uh, for this. Um, so again, uh, Beth, if you would, uh, or Tom, um, kind of get a brief over and then Beth will, will jump in for any comments as well. Sure, this will be your recommendation on the grant. Uh, your recommendation on this grant will be forwarded to the Board of County Commissioners for approval or denial of the grant. Uh, the, the grant provides uh, for projects of this nature, uh, and uh, the grant uh, limits are 50% of the estimated co cost of the project or the actual cost once it's completed, uh, whichever is less. Uh, and, and so in this case, the estimated project cost is $4,903. So the grant, if you choose to recommend approval, will be for $2,400. $51.50. Uh, for some of our newer board members, the way the process works is that, um, uh, again, this recommendation, if you deem to recommend it for approval, will go to the Board of County Commissioners. They rule on the grant itself. At that point, then the project can begin. The applicant is required or the property owner is required to pay all costs up front and then submit their final cost, uh, you know, uh, uh, bills or invoices, uh, and then they would be reimbursed uh, the 50%, uh, provided that, you know, they they followed uh, what was required as far as the type of windows that were installed. So, again, this grant would be for $2,451.50. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Um, so we are, from this committee, we are looking for a recommendation to the Board of County Commissioners. Um, would anybody like to make that recommendation either in favor or against that um, grant? I'm um, to recommend we move forward with the grant for the 25, 20, whatever that number was, I didn't write it down here. Um, right. What was that number? $2,000? dollars yeah. $2, $2,451.50 would be the maximum reimbursement for the grant. To move forward with that, because this house is a landmark house, and we do want to have the people who own the landmarks to keep these up as much as possible. And if by getting a matching grant helps them to do that, then that serves our purpose as well as theirs. Okay. 
We have a, a motion uh, from Becky Perry with rationale. Any seconds on that motion? I'll, I'll second that, Charlie. Okay. Charlie Nelson has seconded. Any comments and discussion about that uh, recommendation as presented? Okay, hearing no comments or discussion, we will move forward with the vote. Uh, all those in favor of the recommendation as presented, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. All right, the ayes have it. So the grant proposal has been uh, recommended to the board. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Tom and Becky and all of you. I really do appreciate it. We do strive to keep our house looking pretty and you know keep it up and so i appreciate y'all's help in considering that thank you absolutely thank you thank, thank you beth okay uh, sounds good so moving on to our next agenda item uh, agenda item e3 regarding the uh, garage construction um, at the adams Thiessen house um this is a, a new edition of a garage uh, and because this Property is on um, or is on the, the designated land list. Uh, this board has the authority to or deny uh, the plans as presented. Um, so, with that, Tom, I'll let you take it away and then we'll pass it on to uh, Jeff as well for his. Comment. Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Mr. Homan. Yes, this meeting was properly noticed by a posted sign. That was timely posted. Um, the request, as stated by Mr. Homan, is to build a detached garage on the property. If you went through the materials that were provided, the design of the of the garage and the colors, the paint and the roof uh, will be uh, virtually identical to the historic house. Uh, you can see I provided a site plan as to uh, that, or that the applicant provided to show the location of the garage relative to the house. Uh, as you enter the property, the garage will be set to the left side of the house, uh, basically equidistant with the house. Um, uh, there's a number of photographs in that were provided by the applicant. He did a very good job with his application. Uh, and the photos, as you look at them in, in sequence, it basically takes you into the property and then to where the garage will be built. A lot of good views there. Of, uh, and um, anyway, with that then, uh, it, now there is not a grant associated with this because the grants are for the preservation of the historic uh, contributing structures on a piece of property and this of course is not so there's no grant this is not eligible for a grant so you'll uh, but you would be approving the, the construction of the garage um, uh, with that i would introduce uh, mr jeff marple who is one of the property owners and jeff if you'd like to address the board in any way please do uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, hello, everybody on the Historic Review Board. It's good to talk to you all. We appreciate your consideration. Um, I hope the package was relatively thorough. And, you know, I think the most important part is that we're consistent with the existing home and that we do a, you know, a fantastic job in the design, the, the concept, the design, and the construction of the project to make it where it's transparent. You know, our, our, our hope and our goal um, and all the work that we've done on the pre on, on our existing home is that it's been with consistent vendors, um, you know, the highest grade roofing, um, uh, with every consideration as far as the trim board, um, you know, the, the, the wood elements that we're going to put in there as far as details that they match the home identically. Uh, we, you know, we hope that next time Tom comes up down our driveway, that he'll we'll go, which one's the home and which one's the garage. So. That's the, uh, you know, we're, we're going with the exact design elements. Um, I think we showed you the concept or the concept design vision that we had. That was from Susie Flagg, who's a fantastic architect and a good friend. And then, um, you know, then we went through the, you know, the uh, surveys and, and, and then the renderings and self the elevation. So I hope that's enough and I'm pleased to answer any questions. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, so from the members of the board, do we have any questions either for Tom or for Jeff at this time? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Charlie okay. Nelson again. Go ahead, Charlie. Uh, this is, this is, yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, home and placement. Uh, two things I would say in support of the motion. One, uh, the placement of this is kind of ideal for this property, in my opinion. It sets over to the left. It's shielded somewhat 
uh, significantly from the road by a fairly large oak tree. So it's, uh, if, even if it wasn't consistent, it would be fairly shielded from the road. And secondly, this is one of, uh, now this will be the third freestanding building in addition to the uh, buildings themselves. Um, so it's nothing unusual for this property. I think the design is fantastic and the historical nature of the, of the site is without question. I completely support this. Is that a motion? Add a couple points. Uh, is that a motion? Uh, sure, go, sure, go ahead. I move. Okay. Uh, so Mr. Nelson has a motion on the floor uh, for approval of the design as presented with the rationale. Um, any seconds on that motion? Second. Is that from um, uh, Curtis? Thank you. Um, okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion or comment on the motion? Okay. Hearing no discussion or comment, we'll move forward with a vote. All those in favor of the motion as presented, signify by saying aye. 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 All, those, all those opposed, say nay. Okay, the motion passes as presented. Okay, y'all, thank you very much. Thanks for the consideration. Thanks for the diligence on the work. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds good. So that brings us up to uh, any other final questions or comments regarding these uh, items, these new board items. Okay. Uh, sounds good. All right, moving on to uh, our new business, agenda item E number one, the election of officers for the upcoming year. Uh, Tom, would you give us a brief overview and then we'll move forward with elections. Sure. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, your um, board procedures require that the, the election officers be uh, noticed 30 days in advance. I provided that notice two ways. One, the election of officers has been on your annual schedule your 2020 schedule, it's been listed for this meeting. Uh, so you've had notice since that, that schedule was issued. I also verbally uh, uh, reminded everyone at your last meeting uh, of this election. So uh, that requirement has been met. And I will then hand it over to Nancy Takamori. Good afternoon. Yes, so um, we need um, nominations for both a, a chair and a vice chair. Um, and I would just ask that if your term is expiring soon, um, uh, consider whether you are interested in reapplying for the position um, with respect to nominations for officers. So um, is there anyone who is interested in um, serving or continuing to serve as chair or would like to nominate someone? I'd like to nominate Nico to take one more term. <laughs> Well, you, you beat me to it. I, I was about to say I have not submitted my renewal papers just yet, so I, I don't know whether or not I can accept the nomination at this point. Um, do you in? I, I mean, do you intend to submit the renewal papers? Uh, I do, but there are also other boards that I've applied to as well, and some of them I can't serve on multiple at the same time. Uh, yeah, that that is correct. You cannot serve on this board and any other board. Correct. So it is yep. important. At this time, I cannot accept that nomination for renewal of chairman. Okay, Mr. Crutchfield. <laughs> Would you be interested? Yes. <laughs> uh, um, I actually was looking to see when my term expired, but sure. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to make a nomination or would be interested in serving as chair? All right, hearing nothing, um, let's go into nominations for our vice chair. I'm not even sure who else is on the board here. Is Mr. S uh, sorry, Dr. Sartellis still on the board? Uh -huh. I believe he's on the board through um, the end of September, for sure. And I don't know about his intentions to renew. Uh, I mean, in the event we do have a vacancy, we can always, um, you know, have someone fill the position midterm. 
also, and Nancy, correct me if I'm wrong, but there have been years where the elections have occurred later than July for various reasons. Uh, is Would that be permissible here, right? They don't have to occur in July, right? Or not? Um, it's, it's in the bylaws, but if the board um, would like to vote to move the election to a subsequent meeting, we can certainly um, do that. Right. So I, I, you may wish to consider board that in view of the uncertainty of uh, uh, some of the board members remaining on the board. Also, that Mr. Santarlos is not added to meeting and that he does need to renew his term. And we don't know that he wishes to do that and that there was no other nominations. Uh, you may wish to decide to defer this to, let's say, September. I would uh, recommend that. Okay, um, it, it should also be noted that um, discussion of um, nominations elections can only be done during the meetings. They cannot be done outside of the meetings as well. Um, so that we would have to you know, take this up again at either the August or September meeting. Um, again, if we take this up at September, uh, we should know um, who will be renewing and who will be staying on. So it might be beneficial to, to move that to September. So we have a um, recommendation from Becky. Um, do we have a general consensus on that? Is everybody okay if we move uh, the elections until the September meeting and keep the current slate of officers as presented? Do we have any opposition to that recommendation? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Nancy and, and Mary Lou, is that? Um, well, could we have that in the that? form of a motion um, with a vote, please? Oh, you okay. So we have a, uh, no, I, I cannot make that. So I believe Becky made uh, the motion to move the elections to September. Uh, do we have a second in, on that? Second. I'll second that. I'll second that, Charlie. Okay. So we have a, a motion from Becky um, and a second from Charlie regarding moving the elections until September. Any final discussion on that motion? Okay. Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opponents say nay. The motion passes, we will move the election of officers to the September meeting. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, um, with that, uh, we, uh, Tom, is there going to be items on our August meeting? Uh, do you know as of yet? I, I suspect there will. Uh, uh, the Lute Schoolhouse uh, is, wants a COA to replace its front doors. I need to confirm that they want to go to August, but I suspect they will. Okay. Yeah, we've been busier than ever with the quarantine. I don't know yeah. why, but this, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, with that, um, our next scheduled meeting is uh, Tuesday, August 18th at 3 p.m. Uh, we will be conducting that meeting virtually unless uh, something drastically changes. Uh, but if not, uh, any final uh, news or information for the good of the group? I commend all of you in the group. Just from a citizen's point of view, I'm sorry you're leaving, Nico. And uh, I really appreciate y'all's help so far in everything regarding my home. So just as a citizen, I, I'd like to thank all of you so much. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? Sounds good. Well, with that, we are adjourned. Uh, James and Bill, you may end the official recording of this meeting.